Hi guys, welcome to Adam Matt Cola TV. Wednesday night at Old Trafford, Manchester United versus Manchester City in the EFL Cup last 16. Who will go through to the last eight? This game takes an extra significance as well as both teams come into it on the back of horrible results. Manchester City haven't won in five. Pep Guardiola's worst run in his managerial career. And Manchester United come into it on the back of that horrible defeat at Mourinho's old club Chelsea on the weekend. 4-0 defeat there. Manchester City are without Kevin De Bruyne and Pablo Zabaleta who are out through injury. And as you know, Manchester United have lost Eric Bailly to a knee ligament injury for at least two months following that game at Chelsea. An absolutely devastating blow for Manchester United. If you want to see my reaction to that news, then check out the video that is already on the channel. Coming into this game though, and as I said, it takes on extra significance because United really do need a result. If we had beaten Chelsea, you come into this and you're feeling a little bit more confident. United at home, under the floodlights, at Old Trafford, will win this game. But with no confidence in the team at the moment, and I'm sure it's been wiped out by that abysmal performance at Chelsea, it's going to be very difficult. Now, you could make an argument that a completely different team will play and it won't have an effect on them. But we've seen already with Jose Mourinho that he isn't making wholesale changes. Yes, I know he has been using different players in different competitions, but really the nucleus of those teams has generally been the same. Um, even in games where you expect him to, to change things up at Zuria at home, for example, Zlatan Ibrahimovic starts and you're thinking, hold on, I didn't see that coming. He's been trying to get a run going. We've seen that with his selection against Fenerbahce at home as well. His, def his decision to go really defensive against Liverpool at Anfield to get out of there without losing. Um, and he wanted to build that confidence and keep, get a run going. And in that devastating blow at uh, Stamford Bridge on the weekend, losing 4-0, it's going to be hard to bounce back from. But Jose Mourinho has to rally the troops and the team have to grind. Roll their sleeves up now. Roll your socks up, whatever it is, and get stuck in because we need to win this game. Um, and if we can win this game, it can be a huge confidence boost with some favourable fixtures coming up. Manchester City, on the other hand, as I said, back of five games without a win. So they'll be coming into it with their own pressures. And Pep Guardiola has said he will pick a strong team. Kevin De Bruyne is out though, which is good for us. He was excellent for them in the first Manchester derby of this season that they won 2-1 at Old Trafford. So obviously they'll still have their threats. Sergio Aguero may play even. He's been on the bench for the big game against Barcelona, but returned to the team against Southampton. Ian Acho's also been getting goals as well. So Man City do have goals in them still, even without Kevin De Bruyne. But Kevin De Bruyne being missing is a big boost for Manchester United. Where can we get at Manchester City in their defence? It's obvious we've seen the mistakes John Stones has made and will continue to make. We've seen the mistakes Bravo has made and will continue to make. Now, obviously, if he picks different players, still, they'll have the tendency to make those errors because they always play the same way. And I don't think they've got the personnel to do that at the moment. One thing with Barcelona had Busquets there. He was fantastic for them, protecting the back back three or back four whenever they wanted to venture out with the football and Manchester City just haven't got that midfielder that will be so defensively astute that Stones and Cole can do exactly what they want when they run the ball when they get that player I think they'll be a lot better for it but at the moment we're seeing them they're really really dodgy at the back their defense is a worry for them so I'd love to see us go at them with pace and with strength we need to do that what team would I pick for this game it's a big game as I said I expect him to pick a big, strong team, but still make a few changes. The team I'd select would be David De Gea, Valencia, Blind, Smalling, Luke Shaw. Then I'd go with Carry Carrera, Pogba in a midfield three. And then a front three of Wayne Rooney, Memphis Depay and Anthony Martial. Yes, I'd bring Wayne Rooney in for Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Been missing some sitters recently. And it's a League Cup game as well. We need to chop and change things. If Rooney is second choice now, then it's his time to play. It's a second string competition. Let's play Wayne Rooney. But even having said that, given Zlatan's form, Wayne Rooney deserves an opportunity because Zlatan has been missing chance after chance. Even if we don't play Rooney up front and we play another player, Marshall or Rashford even, I'd like to see that. I'd like to see one of them given take their opportunities we need pace up there as well if we can get pace around Wayne Rooney like I said Memphis needs a chance he hasn't been given any opportunities at all he wasn't on the bench um, on the weekend and what's going on with him 
he needs to play in these kind of games. So that's why he's in my team. And I've still got a little bit of confidence left in Memphis Depay turning things around at Old Trafford. But still, this game, oh, I hate to predict it. I think it's going to go to extra time. And I think Manchester United will go through eventually. But it's going to be a difficult game. It's going to be a night filled with nerves, excitement, tension, and hopefully goals for Manchester United. Guys, I've been Adam McCullough. This has been... Adam Matt Kohler TV. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment below your predicted 11s, your predictions for the game, and I'll see you later.